Buongiorno, buona gente. My name is Dirk Deerking, and I am the teacher of AP Human Geography here at St. Francis High School. Many people would like to know what exactly is human geography. Well, it's a course that explores how humans have understood, used, and changed the surface of the Earth. In this course, you'll understand and use the tools and thinking processes of geographers to examine patterns of human population, migration, and land use. So overall, it is a course that surveys the important human elements associated with both location and time. What do we address in this course? AP Human Geography is a multi-curricular course that addresses many attributes of the curriculum already taught here at St. Francis High School. For example, we learn and speak about geographic patterns. We learn about populations, migration, folk and popular culture, language and religion, of my favorite, politics and ethnicity, agriculture, development, cities, urban and rural land use, as well as industry and economic patterns. So how do we address all these issues? This is quite a bit for one class to cover. We look at the best ways to address one function at a time. And sometimes it is important for us to look at more than one function at a time. How do we do that? We use maps. Maps are the best way to observe the human condition around the globe. And a map is the best tool of every geographer. So are graphs. Graphs are equally important. We can gain great amount of information just by looking at graphs and how they are used. And when applied to a map, we come up with great information about the importance of place. These mushroom spores are way too small to see, so we have to look at them under a microscope. When we can see them, then we can actually begin to study them. However, the planet we live on is way too big to see, so we have to put it under a macroscope. When we can see it, just like the mushroom spores, then we can start to study it. We can find patterns between two unrelated maps. For example, on the top left, you'll see a map containing all the locations of McDonald's in the United States. Similarly, on the bottom right, you will see a map of obesity in America. And you will notice that there are many more McDonald's in the areas where there are high concentrations of obesity in the United States, particularly all around the South. Now we find other connections that may help the world. The map that you have in front of you now is a map of lung cancer patients and you will notice that this map is a very high concentration of people who smoke and you will notice that it is in the same locations as where there is a high amount of obesity in the United States. We will also look at medium, median household income in the United States. And what you will notice is the more McDonald's and the more obesity and the more lung cancer there is, there is a lower amount of median household income. So when we look at all these maps, we have a better understanding of how the world operates. Some things are very tiny and we must use complex electric and optical means to enlarge them so as to understand their configuration and structural relationships. In contrast, Geographical things are so extensive that we must somehow reduce them to bring them into view, says Arthur Robinson, a very famous cartographer. So what we understand is that maps are the macroscope. 
And remember, anyone who thought the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Failed geography. Thank you for joining us for these precious few moments. I bid you a wonderful day and enjoy your visit to St. Francis High School. God's blessings to all of you.